there are people who take advantage of people who do not read their Bible. As the Bible says, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. out the 80s and everyone realizes that things are happening today that are extraordinary unprecedented and it's like the future shock that we were warned about by Alvin Toffler the fact that future shock by Alvin Toffler the guy that predicted that we would be living in space and living un underwater Culture and history is changing so fast that we're in a state of shock because nothing's familiar anymore. And things are happening that are earth-shaking, things that people didn't dream could happen, happen within the space of three months at the end of the 1980s. <laughs> There was an article in this January issue of Omni magazine, and it was a tongue-in-cheek article. It was entitled, The End is Nair Again. And it was uh, an article that basically was saying a lot more than I think the authors intended it to say. And this article talked about the fact that as we near the year 2000, there are many different lines of prophecy from many different kinds of religious groups and even non-religious groups that all believe and have predicted something extraordinary is going to happen to the world around the year 2000. Hmm. They listed the prophecies of Nostradamus, Nostradamus, the French philosopher of several centuries ago. They had some prophecies of someone who had quite an influence on Europe for centuries called the Seeress of Prague. Another false prophet. A woman prophetess of the 17th century. And they even had some of the New Age prophecies. There's a new group called the New Age Millennialist. More false prophets. And they prophecies. had their prophecies included in this. They had prophecies from the Mayan Indian calendar. Now, have, that they look at this. What? Back for thousands of years. And yeah. The Aztecs. Calendar, Mayan and Aztecs. You look at these images. How do you predict anything based on these images? Come on. He's from that. Not to mention uh, Edgar Casey, the so-called sleeping false prophet. prophet, and Jean Dixon. Another She's false had prophet. So few prophecies and missed on so many. I don't see why they threw her in there, but they did. Uh, but they had all of these different prophecies from many different sources in there and it was intriguing that even they saw that the world is headed towards some sort of a great cataclysmic event where the world will go through a great crisis and after that there's going to be this period of peace and they even use the biblical concept of a millennium a thousand years of peace after that what whoa 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 what did he just say, did you hear that? Hold on a second. And after that, there's going to be this period of peace. And they even use the biblical concept of a millennium, a thousand years of peace after that. A thousand years of peace after that. What is he talking about? Now, the only time the Bible mentions this thousand years is in Revelation 20 verses 4 and 6 and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years and shall reign with him 
a thousand years. Now here in verse 4 it says, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So you're telling me that's peace? People getting their heads chopped off? That's a world of peace? No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it, this is talking about right now. We are living in this thousand year period. Because after our Lord Jesus Christ ev comes, everything changes. All right, so we're in a, a really uh, unique time period and after Jesus comes we are transformed into our incorruptible bodies it's there is peace coming after the thousand years but not right now there's not peace right now and right now is the thousand years we that are saved we live and reign with Christ right now we are priests of God and of Christ and we do reign with him right now. And they brought out the fact that both the Mayan calendar, the Aztec calendar, the seers of Prague, all focused on the year 2012 A.D. as being the time when this great catastrophe would come and end. And then there would be this long period of peace. Well, they got that wrong. Hey, we don't believe in those prophecies, but it's interesting that people are thinking about the fact that the way history is going, something is about to happen. Yeah, that's true. They even threw me in there. Yes, I was given a few paragraphs. They called me the nuclear warrior who's conjured up a nuclear Armageddon. That's not true. But they said it is disconcerting that millions of people have read my books and seem to believe it. And uh, they did list the fact that many of the things that I talk about from Bible prophecy actually measure up with what these other prophecies have said. Well, that's not a good thing. Okay, first of all, the nuclear Armageddon, I don't know if he's teaching that in those books. That there's going to be a great nuclear uh, war, uh, World War Three, and it's going to end the world. I don't recall exactly what he teaches, but if he teaches that, he's obviously wrong. Because we read in Matthew 24, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days they were drinking, or I'm sorry, they were uh, drinking and eating and marrying and giving in marriage. Until the floodwaters came and took them all away, right? So they were just living their lives like we are right now, excuse me. And <clears throat> and so it's not going to be a great catastrophe and then the world's going to come to an end. It's going to be a day just like today. It might even be today. Who knows? Nobody knows, right? Except for God only. As Jesus says, the Father only, right? And uh, so uh, he's going to Is this the right chapter? No, yeah. It, but anyways, uh, Jesus says he'll come like a thief in the night. He's not. It's not going to be a buildup of, uh, you know, nuclear arms and then an explosion of nuclear war and then that's the end. That's not how it works at all. It's just going to be moving along just like every other day. And then uh, the end will come very surprisingly for those who aren't ready. All right. But we Christians, we ought to be ready. And uh, let's see if I get this right here. Uh, yeah, right here. And the. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So the end is not about blowing everybody up. The end is about preaching the gospel of the kingdom to all the world. All right. And then that by itself will expose the hearts of man. And the evilness will uh, abound 
but as sin abounds, grace abounds much more. And the grace of God will be bestowed upon us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, and so now is the time to get right.